Hello everyone, welcome back to another um, episode of South Dakota Game Fishing Parks Virtual Outdoors. I'm your host, Derek, and today we're going to introduce you in just a minute. Um, we have a special guest joining us as well. Today we're going to actually talk a little bit about beaver trapping. Um, the person I'm going to introduce to you in just a minute here is one of the area's elite beaver trappers. He catches more beavers in a single season than the Chicago Cubs outfielders caught all last season. So we're lucky enough to have him um, let us tag along today. He's going to share with us some tips and tricks along the way on how he is successful, but also on how you can be successful as well out in the field. Um, as always, we invite comments. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, we'd love to hear them um, down below. But um, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to show you what Darren has here to offer. All right, here we go, guys. This is Darren. Um, he is a wildlife damage, damage specialist with the South Dakota Game Fishing Parks, more commonly known as a state trapper. Um, today, he's going to share with us a few tips and tricks that he's learned over the years on how to be successful beaver trapping. Welcome, well, Darren. Thanks for the kind comments, Derek. <laughs> uh, that was awful nice. So, so here, if you, if you pan around, you'll see we have a typical beaver situation with a dam. Uh, there's two dams, actually really back in water, flooding out into this guy's pasture. So these beavers, uh, we have to take care of this problem. So what I'm gonna show you is I usually start walking around the bank until I find a place that I will put a snare in for you. Um, so this will be a, a set up close to the dam and what I usually look for is a cut in or a little notch with a lot of cover in it so that you can camo the snare easy. And this is gonna be a food lure set. Okay, so the equipment that I need for this is a hammer with a little digging tool on the end to dig up a trap, a place for the snare to go, and then a setting tool. All this is is a piece of rod with a notch in it and a T-handle. This is for, and this is number nine soft wire, which is going to support the snare. Okay, and the snare itself will look like this. It's just simply a piece of aircraft cable with a lock that when the beaver walks through it, he's walking through, it closes down and it holds him like a dog on a leash. And it's a one-way lock and it doesn't let go. So that's how it's gonna restrain the beaver. This is how we're gonna try and catch him to uh, alleviate this flooding that this guy has here in his pasture. So let me pick up my equipment and we're walking along and we find the dam and I find a nice little cut in if you can get a shot of this Derek. It's a little cut in with some nice camo around it. It's uh, You want to try and find this so that it guides the beaver into the snare. You can't just set one anywhere out in the open and expect to catch one. You gotta, you gotta kind of funnel him in. So first what I do is you gotta also have some gauntlets like this. And I'm gonna slip, slick up the bank and make it look like another beaver has used this. So watch what I do here. I'll get all the stuff away from it to give him a nice, easy path. This is a perfect spot to set this because I have a nice, firm bed for that wire in that snare. And what I'm going to do, another beaver has gone up here to feed on this stick that I'm going to put up here. Great spot. This is perfect. So I see I got that all nice and shiny. We're ready to put in the snare. We take our number nine soft wire, this tool, put it in this notch. We're gonna go right at the water's edge so that snare is in about an inch out from where the water meets the bank. We're gonna push this in. This is kind of important, this has to be solid. If this is real loose and this wire spins, it won't work. But here we've got some good loamy soil. It's solid, so it's gonna work. Once the wire is in, twist, pull out, done. Now we grab our snare, which is right here. Luckily, we could find it. We're gonna set the snare next. For beaver, I like to use about an eight inch loop eight to nine, about that big is all. That little loop will catch a 70 pound beaver. Okay, so now we're going to put it at the water's edge. Actually, that's too big, my ball in that. 
gonna be more like about that. Then uh, this snare has a little piece of aquarium hose on it. That's what holds the snare onto the wire. So with the memory of the cable, we're going to wrap this around two times around the number nine and push this on the number nine wire. So there it is. So now all we got to do is adjust it to make sure that it's going to catch the beaver. So we can see that it's off. So we just simply twist it, put it, push the pressure on the wire just so you have enough pressure on the bottom of the cable so it touches where the water meets the bank. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing we do is lure it. The second to the last is stake it. But now we have to camouflage that wire. Let's see, I put some sticks here, Derek. Where did they go? All my camo sticks are gone. Here they are. I cut these ahead of time. So now I'm going to put these along the snare to break up the outline of that cable. So it camouflages a little better. So here we go. So I just take these that I've cut off and I'm going to start pushing them in. There's one on that side. We don't want to have anything interfering with the loop, so we gotta bust that one off. Like that. And then another one for this side. Break up the outline there. Bend that over. And sometimes I'll even lay one kind of over the top of the, the cable just to break up the outline of that. That will look something like this. Something like that. Perfectly camouflaged snare. Loop is the right size. Beaver's gonna swim from the water side. He's gonna put his head through here his front legs are going to come down and he's going to walk up to smell the lure that's on my stick and as he walks this lock is going to come down and it's going to catch him around the body and he'll be restrained there for you when you get back the next day so now the next step is we're going to stake it you have to use long stakes find my stake I'm gonna go high up on the bank to some very firm ground. Here we have a six foot extension and a 36 inch snare, so it's nine foot. So all that beaver can really do is pull sideways and not up. Put the swivel through this. It's about a 30 inch stake. Push it into the ground. If it's too hard, you have to hammer it, but this is just perfect right here. No way that beaver is going to pull that out. All you can do is pull sideways on it. Okay, so the last step is we're going to take a stick and put some food lure on it. And put some food lure on it to draw him up to this set. And that's going to go about three feet up on the bank because you want the beaver to walk all the way up it to make sure that that snare close is on his body. You get about a lima bean sized glob. We're gonna stick it right into the bank. Nice white shiny stick for eye appeal. And that is a completed beaver set. I catch 80% of my beaver in that set. Uh, snaring beaver is one of the best and easiest ways to go. Anybody can do it. That is actually not true. Um, it does take a professional like Darren here. 
Um, an educated beaver, unfortunately, is smarter than about 95% of my friends, um, so they are very tough to catch. But Darren here, what he showed you, like I say, he's a master at this, and um, yeah, stay tuned.